Welcome back. VNL Cares is a new program where Valley News Live is featuring area nonprofits trying to raise awareness and funds for some very worthy causes. We are proud to be highlighting the Honor Flight of North Dakota and Minnesota, and we're excited to reintroduce you to Ron Nawaski from Grafton. His children spoke to us about how much the Honor Flight meant to their father. First thing they told us, there's a clothing store over there. Go get yourself some civilian clothes. Don't get caught outside with a uniform on. That's 72-year-old Ron Nawaski speaking to us on the honor flight back in April. Ron passed away four months later. He was never shy of sharing his experiences. He um, was drafted like thousands and thousands of people were. He didn't have a choice. He was plucked from his home and sent to basic training. Ron served in Vietnam from 1971 to 1972. Nicole tells us the biggest story he held on to was the one you just heard him share with us. He was so excited to get home. And then once they landed in the U.S., he, they were told to get out of their uniform almost right away. There was a couple of stores that they could go to to get civilian clothes because early 70s soldiers coming back from Vietnam were not welcome home. You were gonna be spit at, sworn at, disgraced. From the moment Ron got off the plane in DC, he was given the hero's treatment he'd always deserved, an experience his family didn't know if he'd ever get. He got the letter in the mail saying, you're 400 and something in line to go on one of these flights. And he was a little disappointed. It's maybe Two weeks later, he gets this phone call, and she's like, you're going to Washington. All of a sudden, he went from being 400 and something on a list to now you're going. Nicole recorded her father speaking about the trip three days before he died. When you got that call that said you get to go on that flight, what, what did you feel? Like this is impossible. A dream come true? Absolutely. His son, Jonathan, was his escort on the trip. Ron talked about their memories together until his final days. The uh, Vietnam Wall, for sure. Um, seeing that in the Lincoln Memorial. Um, and also the uh, changing of the guard. Up until maybe the last 48 hours of his life, talked about the honor flight. Like people would come in the house and visit him and he'd be like, you and I went on that honor flight and we'd have to bring out the iPad and start going through the pictures. And the siblings agree, Ron had a clear favorite moment from the trip, the homecoming back at the airport. And we come around that corner and we saw all those people there. It was just like, wow. After 50 something years, he got the homecoming that he deserved. He got closure. And that's something that myself, my brother, could never give him. The veterans on the flight was able to give him that. They treated him like a king, and they gave him so much, and I'm, I'm forever grateful for it. Ron was buried with his honor flight hat and other stuff from the trip. Right now, the wait list, though, for the honor flight is more than three years long. That's right. If you'd like to help send more veterans like Ron to Washington, D.C., click the honor flight icon right on your VNL News app and valleynewslime.com. And keep an eye out for the VNL Cares Impact Day with 100% of proceeds benefiting the honor flight. That's happening March 27th.